Hey guys, I've had tons of requests for people to um, to do a tutorial to make these big trancey chord sounds like um, Party Rock, uh, the Party Rock song by LMFAO. Um, I'll be the first one to admit that you know I uh, this probably isn't the exact sound. Of course, I've got no idea what they what synth they made it in. But anyway, here's something that allows you to make a sound pretty similar. And uh, for those guys who want to know how to make it on massive. Uh, this is this is how I did it. Um, I guess first of all, this is the this is the preset already here, so I'll just show you how I've done it. Uh, in the voicing tab, go to um, the Unison box, make sure it's on 16. Basically, I'll have this zoomed in and, and HD, so you can see everything and copy it up. Um, pan position. There you go. You can only see one, two of the white dashes. Uh, the pitch cutoff is actually doing is actually moved out to the right slightly. Um, here you go. Just copy all the oscillators. Uh, three saw waves. Um, yep, yeah, a minus 11.80, 12.10, and this one is minus 0 0.05. Um, now this sound here, it had like the sound that they were using was sort of like a, it had actually like a slightly different texture. It wasn't just your, your normal sort of super source sound. So that's why I kind of actually, I did blend it in with another filter here, the Scream filter. So just make sure you um, follow all these routings here, from the oscillators to the filter, because it does affect the sound. They don't just have the typical super source sound, there is actually a bit of a bit of grit or a bit of crunch into their sound, so uh, that's what I did to get that sound. Um, yeah, and then here's here's the chorus, just to sort of thicken it up a little bit, uh, as so. Reverb. Again, you guys will have no trouble copying exactly how I've done it. EQ. Um, I've added heaps of high shelf to really get that, you know, that squelchy type sound that they um that they've got in their chords. So copy all that down. Um, and that's about it. Nothing down here has been used. Nothing in there. Again, the voicing is just uh, the main one there. And the oscillators. The filter. Is that it? Chorus. Reverb. I think that's it. I, I usually make a lot of these um, tutorials by making off you know, like a, a default patch from like a new sound. But so often I, I miss out one or two things that I, I just don't want to risk it this time so I've just showed you here how I've got the massive preset laid out um, and here's the sound again actually I used an exciter just to try and um, uh, I'll leave this here uh, I've just used it to try and add a bit more character to the sound um, and this is it again I have I'm no idea if the chords are right I just played some chords that sounded similar to there chords, so uh, I'll play the sound again. It's not bang on, but it's something similar, and um, you don't want to make exactly their chord sound anyway because so many people are using it, but this shows you how they will have come close to making it, and so you can slightly tweak it and make it bigger and better for your own songs. Alright, thanks guys.